All right, with Neil Johnson here on Wisconsin.golf after a 200 par 70 here in the third round of second stage qualifying for the web.com tour. Neil, it continues to go in, in a better direction. Obviously, there's you I could have gone lower today, but you have to like the direction you're headed. Yeah, it's, I mean, I, the last two days I needed, I needed these rounds under par. Um, the first day put me basically in a situation where I needed, you know, either one great round or, you know, or I needed three really solid rounds. And at least I've got two solid ones out of the way. Um, but it was really just kind of a battle today. The 70 felt, it felt like too much work for 70, or I, I just felt like I was working a lot, you know. Um, but at least, you know, at the end of the day, it still ended up getting two back. Um, it gives me some kind of chance tomorrow, you know, and, and the way I've been playing the last two days, I, I at least have some confidence rolling into that. What have you, where have you gained the most confidence on this course? Um, I think, you know, just, just the ball striking, just, just being able to trust that my swing was there, you know, on, on the first day, I had a couple of loose swings early on and that kind of, kind of scared me in a way, you know, I was a little bit, a little bit tentative after that, or, you know, just kind of doubted my swing, but, you know, that's come back nicely. Um, you know, but but the next thing is okay. You got to trust the swing, and then you got to start trusting the yardages and trust trusting the numbers. Because I, I missed a lot of those today, especially it was windier today mm -hmm. than yesterday. But yeah, I just seemed to be right between clubs all day today. And Mike and I, my caddy, you know, we just were we were uh, we were kind of just fighting it all day to make sure we had the right we had the right club. And you know, half the time we we were good, half the time we we missed clubbed. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of, at least when I, when I saw in 18, you were yeah. handing the club back and forth. Yep. You know, you had two clubs in mind, and you hit the one that you chose into the back bunker. Into you made a nice bunker. up and down for a, a birdie to, to finish on a kind of good note. But like you say, it was a lot of effort, wasn't it? Yeah, that, that, that was more work than I would have wanted. I mean, and, and that's kind of what I was doing all day is I'd grab two clubs, and I'd be like, hey, let me feel this one. Eh, let me feel that one. You know, just kind of go with whatever based on the lie because mm -hmm. some of the lies were – Maybe a little different, whether I had, you know, a little upslope, side slope, who knows what. Um, and then on 18, yeah, you know, I, I hit that thing, and or my 18th hole, I should say, yeah, I hit that, and it just, it was a nuclear just knuckleball because it had a little mud on it, so it oh, squirted sure. right. And then I realized, geez, if I just hit the hybrid one less and just kind of squirted it up there to the front, mm -hmm. I would have had, an, you know, kind of an easy two putt or an mm -hmm. easy up and down as opposed to a long bunker shot, you know, deep down in that bunker um, and that, that's kind of the that's the, the just the perfect example of how much work it's been really today and even even yesterday to get you know a 69 and a 70 whereas uh, hopefully hopefully I can make it a little easy on myself and get a string of birdie where I'm not string of birdies where I'm not you know grinding between two clubs and grinding sure. between a reed or speed on the greens or wind somehow <laughs> where how many birdies and bogeys today Four and two. Four yeah, and two. let's see. Yeah, two bogeys and four birdies. Okay. Yeah, that sounds right. Yep. Yeah. So, anything heroic on those birdies, or was it pretty much uh, just? Uh... One was good, or one of them was good. Yeah, on 15. So my sixth hole, um, I missed hit the drive a bit. Was in between clubs like all day, and I chose the five iron instead of just like ripping a six iron. That was the play, just to rip it in the middle of the green and um, try and make a you know, 25 footer or just two putt. Um, but I tried to hit an easy five and just kind of wimped it up there into the front right bunker. But it just had a perfect lie and it was a deep bunker too, but it was a perfect lie and I got down there and I'm like, hmm, I can, I can, you know, slide right underneath this. I can get some spin on it. And then it landed, as soon as I hit it, you know, I was like, that's that's a tap in at, at worst. And then uh, I couldn't see it. I turned around and Mike said, hey, how about in? And, and I, I even heard it, you know, like just hit, clank the pin and just right. disappear. So. So that that was that one felt good because it was such a bad club choice out of the fairway. Right. But then just to kind of uh, not only get away with it, but almost steal one and be like, okay, yeah, sure. you're fine. You know, you're you just birdied it instead of making a really sloppy bogey. What do you think you have to do tomorrow? Um, I don't know number wise. You know, um, I mean, I don't know. I, I, obviously, I know the number was. I guess it was like four today. Mm -hmm. It'll stay that, or it'll go to five. Um, so I, I got to get to that, you know, but I just feel like if I keep swinging the way I've been swinging and, you know, there's a little bit of luck involved if I get some good numbers, mm -hmm. you know, like where I'm able to just right. confidently say, yeah, that's a pitching wedge as opposed to a little nine, just little things like that. Um, and then, hey, I still haven't really made any putts. It was sure. just like, um, it's like, I, I, mean, I, I hate to say it, I'm due. It's just like, if I can just get some reads that I'm confident in. I mean, that's mm -hmm. that the club choice has been in between and the reads I've been in between. So it's like, 
I can just get some good numbers, you know, get some putts that I just am able to just see clearly, and, you know, I can put up whatever. Um, and then the number won't even matter, you know I mean? I'm, right. I can go out and put a really good score and just, um, you know, leapfrog whatever the, whatever the potential number might be. Right. Um, so that, that, that's, that's kind of my goal, and I mean, that's, at least that's where, where my confidence is, that, that I can do that. Definitely. All right. Well, Neil, good luck tomorrow. Thanks.